BEA beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie Renee and I am a Juilliard trained opera singer. Alrighty, so this is Angelina Jordan sings at Alan Walker is heading home live stream fun so this is a live stream that we're gonna watch right now and they're w singing together we already know who angelina jordan is so let's listen to i mean let's we can look her up really quickly just to remind ourselves this is angelina jordan do you guys remember she's the little jazz girl that did really really well um on all of those competitions and shows she's really really talented she did bohemian rhapsody and i was like yes Angelina Jordan is a Norwegian singer whose audition for the 2014 season of Norway's Got Talent at, age, at the age of seven, singing Gloomy Sunday in the style of Billie Holiday, became a viral video online and led to worldwide press coverage. She went on to win the competition at eight with her performance of George Gershwin's Summertime. That's the first song that I ever sang as a kid. Since then, she has worked to raise millions of dollars on behalf of our environmental causes and children's charities around the world. She always performs barefoot after befriending a young shoeless girl while traveling when she was six years old. Jordan wrote a book about the experience and became the youngest published no author in Norway. Jordan has released multiple digital singles, two EPs, and one album called It's Magic, as she has appeared on the first season of Little Big Shots in 2016 and the second season of America's Got Talent, The Champions, in 2020, where her original of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody brought her much attention. In August 2020, it was announced that she had signed with Republic Records. Her first single under that label, Million Miles, was released in November 2020. And now we will look up Alan Walker. And you guys should definitely check out my reaction to her performance of Bohemian Rhapsody. It was really, really fun to watch. The song Faded, the, is, is this the... Faded, I'm faded. Is that that one? Oh yeah, I think we've seen Alan before. Okay, I've seen Alan's work and we've had him on our channel, I think, already. Uh, Alan Olav Walker is an English Norwegian DJ and record producer. In 2015, Walker received international acclaim after releasing the single Faded, yep, which uh, received platinum certifications in 14 countries. In 2020, he was ranked 26th on DJ Mag. He released his debut studio album, Different World, in 2018. So he's really, really talented, and I love his song that he put out. It's really lovely, and yeah. Let's keep on going, guys. Let's watch this video. I'm so excited to see this. Let's do this. Luna, thank you so, 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 so much for sponsoring this video. I'm very excited to hear Angelina again. And guys, let's get on into it. Let me know what you guys like and what you don't like. And Luna, let us know if there's anything we should know. And uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Definitely want this as my backing track. Woo! Oh my goodness.
Okay, this is a really, really different thing than what I was expecting for her. Also, guys, if you're on YouTube right now, come on to the dark side. Join us on Twitch. Please click on the link to join us on Twitch. Please join us on Twitch, please. Um, so the thing that I'm kind of interested in is that she doesn't sound like herself in this. Um, I'm really shocked that she's doing something so poppy because I hadn't heard her voice do something like this and she sounds extremely poppy. When is this from? This is from 2016. I want to find out really quickly when her American Idol thing was. I mean, America's Got Talent. This was a year ago. In comparison to her doing this with, with him. Huh, that's really interesting. So she can switch over, which is pretty... I think it's a good thing. It's kind of interesting and strange that she's doing it maybe she's into this kind of stuff i was just surprised because she's been doing jazz and jazz and jazz and jazz like she's the authentic jazz girl and so you know it's kind of interesting to hear her do something so poppy but i do have to say i really 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 love her quality in general like um like she sounds really great overall but then also i really love the fact that there are so many instruments and such a huge symphonic effect in this pop music isn't that so cool like she's just it's it's such a an overarching kind of a song like i was not expecting this kind of a performance it's such a uh, a poppy seeming song but then she it just all goes in and becomes this whole orchestra and things like that it's so cool i want to hear this part again let's hear her come in My breath. Let me catch my breath. Remind me how it feels to hear your voice. Your lips are moving, I can do a thing. Living life as if we had a choice. Anywhere. Okay, so she seems really young here. How old is she? Do we know how old she is? She's a very, very young, youngin' in this one. Um, I can tell by her stage presence. Her stage presence has developed tremendously since here. You can see she's doing sleep here next to me. Like her hands are really close to her body and just like kind of a little bit uncomfortable, but she sounds really great. The voice is still there. It's just very, very interesting to hear how she's grown and how she sounds in this style. Kind of strange for me to hear in this. She's 10 here. Okay, yeah. So very, very interesting to hear how she was exploring here. She must have gotten invited and just kind of was like, yeah, let me do it because it's a big opportunity, you know? But I still like the quality. I know it's her, her voice has matured for sure, but like she still had really great inflections in her voice. Like, no, no. She's got already that kind of jazzy quality.
Yeah, yeah it's hard. It's, you can't deny the maturity at 10, you know? Our memory will be my lonely bed. This has such folky vibes. Was this written by Alan Walker? Yeah, it's written by Alan Walker. Sing Me to Sleep is a song by Norwegian record producer and DJ Alan Walker, incorporating uncredited vocals provided by Norwegian singer Iselin, or Iselin Solheim. It was released commercially for digital consumption on June 3rd, 2016. Upon release, the recording was generally acclaimed by music critics, with several noticing similarities to the style of its predecessor, Faded. Let's keep watching. So it's his his own personal song that he created. see so many people here tonight and it's a true honor to be back in my hometown Bergen to play for you guys uh, to everyone that's watching thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy thank you Aww. that's awesome I think this is where Luna said to pause right Luna correct I think this is where you said to to pause it I think that was so Cool, like so cool. I love the instruments. I love the different setups of all of the different sounds that they're making. I like that she's singing the melody and then the whole orchestra comes in and sings it together. It sounds like a like just one of those things where you come together and you're like, da, 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 da. you know, like everybody could be singing together in a house, like as a party and singing this all together. It's so fun and so just, I don't know, you just want to sway with it and I don't know. It's so good. I really, really like it. And I like her voice on it, too. She's only 10 here. She's so young, and yet her voice still shows that kind of quality and maturity in it. Um, and obviously, she's grown immensely. But it's interesting to see her exploring the different genres and finding her own artistic voice in different songs and seeing how she's choosing to sing them and choosing to use her voice within each different one. And this one, she used a lot of clean pop vocals, but then she also still had her jazzy little voice come through with all of the different inflections that she uses. So it was quite interesting to listen to. I'm really glad we got to see that. Um, and that's why I love featuring young singers on my channel too, because it's really nice to see them grow and kind of think about where they're going to go, you know? It seems like there's a whole lot of very young singing talent around. Oh yeah, 100%. Well, because all of the parents know about the internet, so all the parents are putting the young kids on the internet now. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment down below what you enjoyed and what you'd like to hear next, and subscribe to join my BEA beautiful family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maggie Renee Music so that you can join me on all of my adventures as a singer living in New York City, studying at Juilliard, and traveling the world, taking you on stage and backstage with me. If you would like to support this channel, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon where you can get exclusive perks and benefits. You can also hit the cute little blue join button to become a member of the Skittle Squad. Skittle Squad, let me hear you down below. Also, be sure to check out the links down below in my description so that you can see all the ways that you can follow me, connect with me, and support the channel. You can also go to maggierenee.com links to find all of the different places that you can visit, such as my Discord. Make sure you join the Discord. 
become a member of the eyebrow army tiktok patreon how to sponsor a reaction my vocal course called how to sing better instantly and much much more thank you all so much for watching and i am sending you all so 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 much love and i will see you in the next video Mwah!